What is happening guys, it is Power Bang. Welcome back to another Clash Clans video. Super pumped to bring you guys this one. We're gonna talk today a little bit about the engineering based fiasco that's been going on in Clash of Clans for the past, I don't know, century. Uh, recently they supposedly put out an update addressing this phenomenon and trying to make things better. But I'm gonna ask you guys if you've seen any difference. I'm gonna take a look at one of our wars today and show you guys kind of what's going on on the engineering front. Welcome back. So our recent war that we had this week was one of our first random spins in a while. We went up against Grumpy Old Men. Now I love the name. Nothing against Grumpy Old Men at all, but they build their bases and recruit a little bit differently than we do here in WHF. While WHF is looking for more or less maxed out players and and guys that are pretty fur, you know, far along in the progress on their base. Grumpy old men, not necessarily the case. So 84-81 the final in this war. But let's go ahead and take a look over on the other side. All Town Hall 9s and 10s were obviously cleared, but they had some random stuff all the way down the map from Town Hall 11s pretty low. Uh, it was kind of, it was an awkward war, not going to lie. So let's go in and take a look at some of the stuff we were kind of faced with. Don't recall the numbers of all of these, but if we just go scout, you can kind of get an idea. You can see the, uh, you know, the 11 here with no eagle, but he's got nearly a maxed warden. Uh, same story here. We, I mean, it's just kind of the same thing all the way down. But the weird part was there's a lot of stuff with sporadic, uh, you know, good bases all of a sudden out of nowhere. I'm going to show you guys those today, but as you can see, more Town Hall 11s, no Town Hall uh, 10 defenses on this at all so this is kind of what we've been seeing on the engineering front I I, I gotta ask you guys have you seen any difference because we're not seeing it uh, within WHF but we do not have the experience spinning randomly that you guys probably have that watch the channel so let me know in the comments if anything is different at all with your matchmaking if it's gotten better if it's gotten worse I'm curious to know let's go ahead and take a look at the raids that went down in this war because they were actually pretty cool, and I've got one that's a blast from the past, pretty nostalgic. I want to see if you guys can recognize this base, because I recognized it the second I saw it, and I was just like, oh my god. I remember hitting that base like almost two years ago, uh, kind of nostalgic. So first one we're going to watch is Ice Bear getting hit here by Golly. Now, this is a pretty, you know, it's a decent Town Hall 10 base. He's got mid-level heroes right around level 30, but uh, if we could take away one thing from this base... When you're building your Town Hall 10 designs, guys, this is what you don't want to do. You do not want to put your Infernos in the same compartment as one of as one another because if you can get a kill squad to that compartment, that pretty much means the end of your Town Hall 10 base. If you can get both Infernos taken out, if you can just get your kill squad to one particular compartment, it makes the method of attack very, very obvious and very, very easy. So that's what Golly does here is he's just going to hit this from the top left here, using a couple golems to, uh, you know, set the funnel. Uh, he's got those wizards on the flanks there, taking out the buildings and forcing everything to an eventual jump spell that's going to come down uh, right there to get into that core. You can see how that air sweeper, uh, that's going to be a nice little entry spot into the core. Now, all he's got to do is send in some bowlers here and take out, you know, all of these buildings. Nowhere left to go. Uh, the golems are out front. We've got the heroes in behind. Here comes the CC. He waits real long with the king to make sure that it goes into the core at full health. And eventually, he's going to pass up and go straight to the queen. Look at this. He uses that ability. Gets the queen taken out. The, the core is getting slaughtered right now. And look at this. The queen trailing everything up still has her ability. And she is going to get the Tesla. She's going to lock on to the Inferno Tower here in just a moment. Gets an Expo. I don't know how much more value you could really expect from a minimal kill squad. Uh, but then it's just a traditional Lalo going around a very nicely carved out, you know, outer flank of the base. The core is gone. She gets another Expo. Unfortunately, the Tesla locks onto her before it gets to the air troops. So she does end up dying. Uh, would have been a little too sweet to be uh, believed if the Queen had survived that entry. However... Heal spell going down on the very last part of this base, and it's uh, it's curtains for this one, man. So, really nice job. There's a haste spell to kind of lead them into that final wizard tower, and that is that. Golly getting it done here against Ice Bear from Grumpy Old Men, taking advantage of the Inferno Towers that are right next to each other in that centralized compartment. So, guys, when you build your bases, 
separate those infernos not only out of the same compartment but make sure that a jump spell connected can't basically provide access to both infernos give them one not both all right next up we are going to take a look i believe at number 10 t-bone here sean 2 is going to be hitting this one hogs are the method uh prescribed for this raid 31 of them and not only that he's got a he's got a surgical miner for the end i really like that uh, on this base uh he's going to start off with some bowlers on both sides he tried to get a skip all the way to the gold storage here um didn't quite get that far but that would have been pretty cool uh but the funnel being taken care of is the primary uh you know desire there he gets that taken care of and now he's going to be uh walking in with the queen all by herself sends in some wall breakers to open up the wall pretty cheaply done there guy uh nice work to sean too on this one he's gonna pop that ability get right on in there lock on to the inferno tower take it out and that that's i mean that's awful cheap man to get an inferno that's the that's the uh the opposite of the last base kind of offering up the inferno tower too easily on the outside of the base rather than uh you know tucking them together on the inside see at least this guy separated them out to where sean too has to you know work to get that second inferno so now it's all about the king and the bowlers going into this base drops a jump spell there on the junction and here goes the king here goes the bowlers look at that they get the enemy queen taken out they're gonna get a whole bunch of splash damage as well they get an expo man a solid solid entry here from sean too the bowlers are gonna try to go uh through the wall rather than over the jump spell to the uh air sweeper there but now it's hoggy time. Hogs hitting from the bottom right. They are into the heal spell, taking out all of these defenses. Heal spells getting as many as possible up to full health as they get to the Inferno Tower. A couple of bombs there do hit the Hog Riders, but enough of them are there to where they aren't just flat out bacon. Now they are healed back up to full, and he has a third heal spell still. Oh my gosh, there it is. He gets those Hogs back up to a, a decent amount of life. And the final group that split off joins them. There it is. Now check this out. He targets the last Tesla here with the miner. Clever play, Sean, too. He's going to trigger the giant bomb there before the hogs arrive. And that's going to make sure that he's got cleanup troops left alive. The miner does some tanking as well as triggering that giant bomb. Nothing left to do with the cleanup now. Swag poison in the middle. Sean, too, getting it done against T-Bone. Really like the raid, dude. Uh, now we're going to watch some Town Hall 9. Not even a Max 9 take out a 9.5 in a pretty clever raid and then we've got a nostalgic old school town hall 9 popular base i literally remember seeing this in a war against one hive like way long time ago 2015 i believe so done deal on that base sean too getting it taken care of let's go ahead sweep down the list here i believe all the way down to number 20 to a name that i can't read but sarah our lowest town hall 9 Hitting this base, decent uh, Town Hall 9.5 here. He's got his Heroes Max for at least Town Hall 9 level, so that's good. And now he's going to be uh, coming in from the top with a little bit of a Queen Charge. Takes out the Archer Tower, and look at that. Opens up the corner of the wall. That Queen is going to swing over there. That King does a great job setting the funnel. He's going to use his ability and scoot on by trying to avoid the Wizard Tower as much as possible. Poison Spell down to accept the Clan Castle troops coming out to meet the Queen. Pretty much a standard witch valkyrie baby dragon combination we were seeing from this clan and uh poison spell it definitely hurts that especially if you can get them grouped up and it's not a long lure so now the queen has wrapped around she gets that first air defense taken out this is going to be a lalo uh raid for the main portion of the army and he's going to be trying to get a couple of air defenses taken out and attacking i believe from the top left with the uh lalo portion of the army that's lava hounds and balloons for those that aren't familiar and there we go queen locks on to the town hall here it's going to use a rage spell to speed that process up and keep her alive let's keep an eye on her later on in the raid but now it's time for a little uh you know a little action on the lalo portion so she starts going through the wall now the timing was perfect he waits for her to get almost all the way through here and now that he's certain okay she's in there she's gonna take out this uh this uh air defense this is when it's time to send the main air army so she gets that done the goal i think was to have her swing over uh the direction she's headed now and take out the queen as well but it didn't quite work out that way queen locks onto the lava hound as it comes in and then he just sends in a bunch of loons on this first part to overwhelm that area 
and it does look like that worked. It worked. The loons actually get away. Queen transfers to another set of balloons, and then on to the final Lava Hound there, and it's a maxed out Lava Hound, so not too bad at all. It's about to go down to this air defense, and then the balloons uh, uh, admittedly struggle with the sweeper a little bit. The queen has worked her way through a second layer of walls, and she is now dealing with the sweepers as well as a Tesla farm. Mighty, mighty helpful, queen. I wish you were helpful in my raids like that, but no, she's never helpful like that in my raids. Who would I be kidding? Anyways, balloons head into the final section. One more hay spell gets him through it. He decides to use it, even though this base is pretty much uh, obliterated. He does have one wizard left. And uh, really good cleanup spread all around the base. The only problem, wah, 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 we've got a queen still alive. So uh, it looks like the friendly queen is going to go over, lock on to the enemy queen, and she does have the benefit of healers. So she's going to win that fight, and that is that. It is all said and done. Balloons and pups head in to take out these final few buildings. Nice work from Saro taking out, I'm going to call him Spake. We're calling him Spake. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I imagine if you look at that name, Spake is what you will call this man. All right, so Spake, shout out to you, man. Welcome to the video. Uh, very cool. Next up, we've got Jason getting hit by Dan Howe, guys. This is the base I was talking about. Do you guys remember this one? I remember, uh, like, one wizard funnels on the bottom, like, taking this stuff out, or a baby dragon. And then uh, one, you know, wizard over here taking out the gold mine. And then, like, a, a jump spell with a Suicide King entry where the queen would aggro onto the king and lure him in. And then we'd hit from the top left. I don't know if you guys remember this particular base. Let me know in the comments if you do because I saw this and I immediately was like, dude, I remember that. This was from the, uh, like, the double walls. I remember uh, the One Hive guys hit this in a, in a particular war. Um, yeah, dude, I, I just remember this one going a, a, around, so props for Dan Howe uh, taking this out. Kind of cool to see it hit with, like, a, a modern-day army, right? Bowlers in the CC, which at the time didn't even exist in the game, so this is, this is a little bit different. This used to be a tough base to kind of hit, and now not so much, because what he does is he queen, queen walks up the right side here, charges a little bit, once the archer tower is down, the queen wraps around and goes to the core with the bowlers, with the king. There's that Valkyrie baby drag wizard witch uh, CC. Poison spell takes it out. And uh, look at this push. He gets into the center of the base and these bowlers, man. It's a whole new world, literally. Like, the, the bowlers absolutely make a tremendous difference in the push in a lot of these bases. Because, I mean, these guys are in the core and have completely taken out half of the defense already, and they're about to go over the wall and get the second half. So balloons come in from the right. Uh, looks like just pretty much taking out the defenses directly here. And queen, king, bowlers still alive. This was absolute wreckage. Dan Howe taking care of this base, no problem at all. Finally uh, getting down to low health with the queen, but ability not even really needed as the, uh, the balloons finally getting in there. And taking out the final defense. Archer Tower down. It is nothing but cleanup at this point. Queen uses the ability. We got wizards and minions on the edge of the ring. That is going to do it. So Dan Howe getting the triple on the old school base from 2015. Props to Jason, though, for using a good base. Giving us some practice. And I thought it was really cool to see a new style uh, army on the old style base. Anyways, that being said, guys, WHF did get the victory in this uh, midweek Random war, uh, for lack of better terms, 84 to 81. We have an awesome war coming up this weekend. We are going to have WHF and North Remembers going head-to-head -head in a 50 versus 50 CWL matchup. This is for all the marbles. Actually, it's just to go 4-1. and one. So we'll see if we can uh, put our best foot forward in a 50 versus 50 matchup. I'm pretty pumped for this one. Uh, look for me to be streaming that this weekend on Saturday night, 7 p.m. Pacific is when I'm normally on. That being said, guys, thanks so much for tuning into the video. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like on the video. Let me know in the comments, and uh, I will catch you guys in the next one, y'all. Peace out. Have a good night. I will catch you soon.